Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create this beautiful world map chart with the world map chart option in Excel. We are also going to add slicers to filter your data. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of these videos. Please enjoy. So in this video I'm going to create this beautiful world map chart for you. It's based on this table where I have a column for the region, the country and the sales value. Where the region is the continent where the country is in. I also have the slicer where I can for example click on Europe. And you can see my chart is zooming in on Europe and only shows the countries in Europe. I'm going to undo this and I'm going to show you how to create this chart yourself. I'm going to go to sheet 2 where I have the same table. And we are going to create this world map chart with this table of data. Click somewhere in your table. Go to the insert tab in your ribbon. Go to the maps and insert a filled map chart. I can give it the right position. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the title of my chart. Click on it. And it says world sales value. I'm going to select it all, go to my home tab on my ribbon, make it bold and make this dark green. I also want to remove the outline of my chart, so just select your chart, go to the format menu on your ribbon, go to shape outline and click no outline. I'm going to show you some things you can do with the mult map chart. I'm going to select my chart, press Ctrl 1 and I'm going to go to the series sales and you see I have a series options in here click this open and you have the map protection you can select for example Mercator and you see how the map is changing you can also select Miller which gives you this map and you can select Robinson which gives you this map in this case I'm gonna go for automatic you see there's also an option for the series color I can click this open Make this a bit wider. You can see I can select the color for the series. But when I go to fill in line, I can also choose a color to fill. These are two options to fill your chart with a color. I'm going to show you what the difference is. First, I'm going to my series options. I'm going to select a light green color to a dark green color. And you can see what happens. All countries with data change to a green color. All the countries with no data still have the blue color. And now I'm going to go to the fill and line. I'm going to select a solid fill and I'm going to select a light gray color. You see this option is only for the countries with no value. I can also select a border, a solid line and I'm going to go for a little bit darker gray. And the border in this case is the border between the countries. You can see it here. It's light gray. Now we formatted our chart with the green colors. And now I'm going to show you how to add the slicer to zoom in on different regions. Just make sure your active cell is within your table. Press the short key, Ctrl and T. Well, my table is headers, so I leave this box checked. I click OK and I create a table. I don't want Excel to mess up with my formatting in this table, so I'm going to the table design, click this button and click none. So now my formatting is like it was and now my data is converted to a table. When your active cell is within your table, you have the option on the ribbon with the table design. I can show you when I click next to my table, the option is gone. So make sure your active cell is within your table. Go to the table design and click insert slicer. Well, in this menu you need to select the column where the slicer needs to filter on. I want to filter this on a region. So I select the region, click OK and here is my slicer. I can place it next to my data, make it a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter. I can change the colors of my slicer by clicking it. When my slicer is selected, I have the slicer option on my ribbon. So I'm going to go to the slicer tab and I'm going to select the light green color. So it's all in style with my chart. 
Well, our chart is not ready yet for filtering. I'm going to show you why. Because when I click Europe now, you see my chart is gone. And that is because you can see it here. All rows where the region is not Europe are hidden. And my chart is also on these rows. So my chart is also hidden. And we can solve that problem. I'm going to show you how. Just click this box to clear the filter. You see my chart is coming back. Select your chart. Press console 1. Go to the chart area menu. Click the size and properties. Open the properties menu and select don't move or size with cells. Close this menu. And you can see when I select Europe in my slicer, my chart is zooming in on the Europe region. Just like I want it. I can clear this filter here and that way you see the whole world again. There's one other option which is important for slicers. Click your chart, press console 1, go to the series menu, go to the series options, open the series options menu and you have the map area option in here. Always make sure this is an automatic. When I select world, I can filter my table, but the chart will always show the whole world. So make sure this is an automatic. The map area, you can close this, and that way your chart will always show the selected region. So that's all for now. This is how you can create your beautiful world map chart. Please let me know in the comments if you also made your own world map chart in Excel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos. Thanks for watching.